Hey, what up, gang? Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna, um, uh, I got a couple things to go over in this lesson. I'm gonna give you a challenge to work on stretching your, um, stretching your fingers, kind of advancing, kind of go over a few things there. And I also want to throw in a tip here. I bought this guitar. It's a Washburn, uh, 1980 Washburn D15. Gorgeous looking guitar. Bought it used off of a guy. Um, paid a few hundred dollars. Um, but to be honest with you, man, maybe I'm, I'm used to playing a couple Taylors and all that stuff. It sounds awful. So, um, and I don't, I don't mean that mean. Um, I, I just say that to say, and I, t I tell this people all the time, a lot of you guys can actually play decent. It's just your equipment's no good. Um, and I broke my own rule. I didn't play this a lot before I bought it. I wanted a guitar from my office to kind of have. Um, so I didn't follow my own advice. I just want to tell you guys that, like, what happens when I play this? It, it muffles the chords. So it's got new strings, looks the part and all that stuff. But again, compared to my other Washburn, my Taylor 614 CE, my Taylor GS Mini, it really, it doesn't, like if I'm going, picking out strings it's not as bad but it but it really muffles the chords um, so if you might be using a cheap guitar out there and just want to let you know that like uh, but now to the lesson here that, that advice is for free and I only charge you for that okay what I'm gonna do with this exercise is play a regular G chord so lock in the two bottom strings of the third fret fifth and sixth I'm awful still. You know, we'll see if that works. Hopefully it'll stay in tune, like I said. I don't, man, crazy. Anyway, so play a regular G chord. You're gonna go six down. And then you're gonna take both these fingers off and kind of, you gotta twist your hand and press the top string of the first fret. Then go down to the fifth string first fret So let me get a close up here. Here's what you're gonna do. Six down. Six down. And then go over to this top string. Then one string fret down. I mean one string down, same fret, fifth. And then you're gonna put both of these, you're gonna put your first and second finger on the fifth string, second, third fret, and then go. On that last note, you're playing the fourth string, but fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth, down. If you know what song that is, comment below. I, I can I can remember hearing it, but I forget exactly what it is. Um, if you can if you can remember that for me, play that. But that's nothing. Next year you're going to go six five up two three four. So five a six five one two three four. Then then you're kind of twisting your hand, playing the top string six five. One, two, three, four. Five, four, one, two, three, four.
recommend too is if you're a beginner, if you notice, the frets get closer together as you move down the guitar, meaning this fret is going to be wider, more space than say the frets down here, obviously. So I actually, where I'm at my office, I don't think I have a capo in here. What you might want to do if you have a capo is clip, say, the fifth fret or the seventh or something like that and do the same exercise. Because it's going to be a little less of a stretch and then move the capo down and do it there and capo down and so forth until you finally totally remove the capo and you can really work on that you see I still struggle with stuff like this I tell people all the time Lots of stuff I teach everything I will struggle with personally too. So I, I'm good at like the regular chord changes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the minors, stuff like that. But as far as a lot of this picking out and stuff, I still, I just don't practice enough. Two kids, two jobs, uh, uh, two wives. I always use that joke, that's a joke. Uh, no, but um, so. Um, but you might, you might want to try pick, also try maybe without a pick to work on playing with your fingers. So here you go. All right, guys, there's a quick exercise to work on stretching your fingers. Uh, and, and as much as stretching your fingers, it works on, a lot of times with the guitar, certain chords, you have to spin your hand and wrist around and, and get a different angle. So rather than just doing this with the same angle, you, you learn to twist and turn, that kind of thing. So uh, anyway, check out a lot, a lot easier lessons, a lot better lessons, higher quality. I'm not stuttering around, I'm not trying to tune, I'm not dogging guitars, all that at countrysongteacher.com. And uh, please subscribe if you have it. Thank you guys for all the support. Sorry if you're a Washburn guitar fan. Me dog and guitar. I have another Washburn I love. It's just this one's a little rough. Maybe I need to take it in and get it, get it worked on a little bit there. But anyway, it's a good little uh, office guitar. God bless you. Hey, Snapchat, Guitar Teacher 44. If you're on Snapchat, go add me right now. Guitar Teacher 44. Holla.